Hi there and welcome back. Um, this is part two of the Follow Me, Follow You that um, I'm doing in collaboration with the lovely Terry from uh, Sweet Pea Papers. Uh, it is Sweet Pea Papers, isn't it? Um, yes, it is. Um, I put a video up this morning, what I'd filmed straight after part one. Um, and I've not watched it through and after nine minutes it had gone grey. Um, so I've had to follow my video part one and make um, this again so I can film part two because obviously now I've, you know, moved, moved forward. So yeah if i if i'm a bit flustered and a bit nuts i'm sorry uh but <clears throat> i wanted to jump on and get it filmed um and, and get it back back up today so i don't know what time it'll be up but as soon as it's up you know i'll i'll put it to to live so this is where uh we got to at the end of part one this is the back part of the file folder so if you remember we've got the magnets we've got the cd um we've got a top opening on the cd and um, this opens up this is an envelope and i think i ended where i put the magnet and stuck it inside the envelope um so I then uh, attached a little envelope inside here. So this was just a little envelope. I've just covered it front and back and I've opened the top up. So I'm going to stick that flap into there. Now, to cover that magnet, what's in there, I'm going to put a whole piece of paper in. Um, I just think it'll be neater. Than, because the tag's going to be going in and out um i think it'll be better so let's do that so i hope everybody's okay obviously you know this is this is today <laughs> it's it's friday um yeah again i was actually filming um the second part of um the junk mail um tim holtz uh what i'm doing with um line dot and arrow kits and i was filming that and i'd pause because um i've been doing some decoupage this is no good i've got a magnet on and the ruler keeps sticking and i'm wondering why i can't move it and um yeah i was doing some decoupage and i thought oh i'll just pause a minute i'll put it on one side to dry off a little bit um and while i was pausing i thought oh i'll just sit and drink my coffee and i could see it was like 12 o'clock you know dinner time uk and um that's what time my videos go up and i thought i'll just you know have a look if anybody's watched it um and they had and i saw that there was comments so i thought oh i'll answer a couple of you know comments why why i'm here um and yeah then i, I discovered that um the video was great so i had to go back into the other video and finish filming uh that i was in a right tiz uh, so you're gonna hear all about this again <laughs> on um tuesday next week oh come on and um yeah so i finished i cut that a little bit short i probably didn't get done you know as much as i'd i'd planned to do um and then like i say i've had to just re-watch my video and, and follow it um which yeah it was it was pretty good um oh gosh i'll cut me yeah it's pretty good i don't mean it in that way obviously but um yeah we it definitely um i, I found it was pretty easy to to follow and i did have a couple of comments um on part one of of people who was quite new and they did they had said that um it was it was a really easy to follow and that is something i do worry about because i do a lot of min and r in and i do a lot of waffling and um, sometimes 
I forget to say, you know, tell you things. I'm just like sitting here doing it. Um, and I, I feel like sometimes I perhaps don't give clear um, instructions. So that was nice. Um, and like I say, I did, I did um, find the tutorial quite straightforward. But um, I got on my own nerves after a bit listening to myself. <laughs> So I put myself on uh, subtitles. Oh my goodness. I need to speak more clear and not say mmm so much. Anybody who watches this in subtitles, I am so sorry um, that I don't speak clear and I do a lot of mmm because it, it, it reads so funny. I mean, obviously, um, oh, I'm making a right ash of this aren't I um obviously I don't think YouTube subtitles is is that great on picking uh words up and stuff but uh oh yeah the amount of mm, ah oh, and stuff that I do is um is unreal so yeah I'm sorry if you're listening to this in subtitles I don't speak very clear so that's uh, that stuck, so I feel better about that. I don't know why. Oh, yeah, sorry. I was going to say, I don't know why I didn't stick this down first, but it doesn't make any difference because it's being stuck on this side, what isn't covered and doesn't need covering. So I'm just going to slip that in there, make sure that it's nice and straight. So that's that. Let's just make sure it's. Not sticky. Oh, he can shut up blinking, barking as well. I've not got time for for pausing and running downstairs. Um, it's quarter to four uh, UK time here. So that's that's the back. Um, we did the front cover in the last one. So I think I put these two magnets on ready. I did that in uh, video one. So, I did that. Now, I need some envelopes because, and I used uh, kit envelopes in the other one from Lorna's kit. Might put those in because they quite go, go with it. Or I've got some kit ones, but they might go better. From, um, I'm ermine again. I don't know, they're not the right tone, are they? I mean, they're not really, but I think they go better than them. Have I got anything else? Mm -mm. Sorry, I'm just looking in my um, in my box of. I was going to say my stationery box. I suppose it is a stationery box, but um, yeah. So, what's going on? Hmm. I might, I might stick with these. So let's do that. So they was a stationery set uh, that I bought. It's called Nature's uh, Gallery. It's the same as a paper pack that I've got. So let me show you this one. So I put a kit envelope in here, covered the back and then opened the top, which is uh, stuck together. Oh no, honestly. Did I even open this? You know, normally I do recheck that. Well, I've just totally written that envelope, so <laughs> I'll probably wait and include that bit in. I might not put that one in then. Yes, I will. I'll have to just repair the, the other one in, in part three. So it's just going to be a little bit disjointed. So I am sorry um, about that. Um, so this envelope is going to go here and I left it open like so. so uh, so that was the the opening um and i did stencil 
in that so I think that's what I'll do next let's um I've just totally took that envelope off so that's that so we'll cover we'll cover both these sides and do this envelope first I've not covered that side have I okay right let's do this then so oh I need to I need to obviously stencil this first because I need to stick this down before I put my paper down. Okay, right, um, I've hung my stencils up. Um, lots of people said to me about uh, hanging them up, so I've hung them up. So, I might just pop, pop that across. Hey, what a shame. Oh, yeah, let's, let's do that. Yeah, Colin's just bought, um, what has he brought up? Uh, Ryan's slipper. I can hear him, it just, something dropped just behind me. So he tends to bring the slipper up or the remote control. <laughs> And the thing is, it's for the, um, oh, what is it, um, the Fire Stick um, Amazon um, box. We, we've got a Fire Stick upstairs and downstairs. But um, the remote, you know, it doesn't, the one upstairs doesn't work on the downstairs. And obviously they look exactly the same. So if he brings them up... Um, and say we've left the other one on the bed, then we end up with two on the bed and we have to try it out to see which one uh, goes where. But yeah, it does it all the time. You're not going to see that bit, are you? So that bit doesn't matter. Right. Oh dear, what a day. And I thought today, because I'm still not very well, I feel a lot better than I have done um still getting a lot of back it's more back ache than back pain it's just aching constantly um but i do feel a little bit more um mobile um i think i'm coming out in sympathy or uh denise is coming out in sympathy for me because um yeah she's done her back in as well <laughs> oh dear i don't know maybe it's a it's a crafting thing um you know for people who, who craft in a full-time capacity um i'm guessing you know not casual crafting it's it's not that dangerous but um just i'm gonna do that low so it just you know some of that magnets still showing the more contact they've got with each other, uh, the better. So that goes there, like so. Okay, I'm going to cover um, this one. I am still going to put this one um, down. Like I say, I'll have to uh, rectify um, the, you know, the OR. I don't know if to seal this down and actually put um, a hinge on this. That's what I'm going to do. Okay, I'll just put that to one side because we're not doing, we're not doing that at this minute, Tanya. We're doing this. So, I think I would like that paper on this side. Now, did I do the paper that it was the right way round when you pull it down. Yes, I did. Yeah, okay. Just checking. So, yeah, I think I'll have that one on that side. So, that's that. And I think I'll have this one on this side. So, what shall we... We can either try and get that butterfly in or get this butterfly in. I think I'll do <coughs> do that. So I'm going to take this side down and this bottom down first while he's barking. Right, I've 
um, got that down to size. It's funny as well because I was making another one of these off screen. Anyway, I thought, oh, I'll make another one because I'd um, got a kit from my porch. But it, um, pink monet prints i don't know if i said in the first one um so yeah i was doing that off camera so at first i thought oh that's not too bad because I, I can just do do that one on camera but i'm at a totally different stage on on that one i'm like in the middle uh of the two so yeah that was no good either I, oh and i had done that a, a different way around as well I think I did the front, the the back of the front, say this side, um, in the first part, which I didn't do that in in the video. So I thought, well, that's a bit con confusing because there were certain parts that I hadn't covered, uh, but certain parts that I had, like I'd done it the opposite way, way around. I don't know why. Just I don't know. I tend to to do that when when I make make something. I do like doing things the opposite way around because then sometimes you go, oh, yeah, and you know something else evolves uh, from it. So that's that side. Um, let's do this side. So I would like to have a lot of those ferns in, and I would like to have that stamping. I think. Or I prefer this side actually. So let's start by putting my finger in the ink. That's always the best way, <laughs> best way to start. Um, so if that's there, yeah, we're gonna get off the postage stamping, or I could get it all in. So if I rip down here, like so. And then if I get the length, I'm just going to fold it a bit more, a bit more. Okay, let's um, do that. So last time I was, you know, measuring uh, that way and uh, doing it, you know, properly. So I'm going to take it from, I think, the end of the T. End of the T? Or which way after the N or? I don't know. Oh, that's okay. Yep, that's fine. So I shall ink, ink around that. So I'm using the papers, if you've been watching, uh, well, I started it um, last more, last Wednesday, um, so Wednesday just gone, um, I'd got a pile of botanical printables and I've got some like file folders folded in half or, you know, uh, and I said that I was going to use all those up before I printed anything else botanical art so when I was thinking oh crikey what what paper shall I do it in um and I, I haven't got any printed out apart from these and uh backing papers uh, and I'd obviously forgot about these and I was thinking oh what kit shall I you know print and then luckily it dawned on me I got these and I thought oh that's brilliant can get some some used on. Now I think these papers are from a shop called Romantica Arts, and um, I did buy quite a lot of her. Um, I think I've well I've not looked in a shop for a long time to be honest, but um, at, at the time I had got all her botanicals, but she did a lot of um, like roses and things, which you know I, I love roses. You know if somebody buys me a bunch of roses but i'm not into doing uh rose things so that is that part fabulous and i'm going to do this part aren't i and i'm going to put this envelope like so and it's going to have a thingy like so um i'm going to 
Shall I cut the top off? I think I'll cut, cut the side actually. So if I cut down that side like that, um, I'm going to want a piece of card or something, not, not too thick. Oh, that might be, be okay. Oh, it's going to go that way, isn't it? Yeah. So let me just take that out. <clears throat> And let's straighten, straighten this up. I need to run downstairs in a minute. I'd put um, yeah, the slow cooker on this morning, um, and I've put like stock cubing and uh, the meat, and um, I've just got a, a bag of like frozen um, stew vegetables, um, which I don't. Put in. I normally do that to about three hours. Well, it's four o'clock now, five, six, seven. So that means it won't be ready till seven. I'm gonna run down and do it now. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> vegetables are in. Yeah, all of a sudden I thought, crack it. <laughs> Put those vegetables in. It, luckily, Ryan's really tired. So when he gets home from work about half past five, I think he'll go to sleep. Um. So, yeah, I don't think he'll mind his tea till, till about seven. And I'll say, oh, I thought I'd do it do it a bit later, you know, so you can have, have a nap because it is off this weekend. Um, so, yes, I think that's what he'll, he'll be doing. Oh, you know, I don't know why these confused me so much were you the same like tell me it's not just me but yeah as soon as i turn something upside down or whatever i can't i just can't my brain will not make sense of it um i don't think i've always been like that i probably have a little bit and it probably wasn't just that noticeable um and as you get older like I don't know, you just, just forget things, don't you? But yeah, I, it gets me really uh, confused. What a tutorial. Anyway, <laughs> so <laughs> we've got this envelope. So you can use any envelope. If you've got a kit envelope like I did in the other one, use a kit one, use a real one, use a tea stain one, meat one. Um, Don't put an envelope on it like you know uh so that's going to go there now what i do want to do before i put those papers on is do the little disc what's going to go around now in the other one which um you couldn't see i um i did it on card and this is just all printed in paper so if i just Oh dear, come on. I think I need to. Did somebody say, because I've tried foil and it really does not work for me. Um, oh, is it because the paper's too thin? But anyway, um, yeah, I've tried foil, that doesn't work. But I'm sure somebody said about fine uh, sandpaper. Um, am I imagining it or not? Did somebody... Did somebody tell me that? Um, yeah, let me let me know because um, if so, I'll I'll get some. I'll get some. I don't know why I did that there. What how wasteful? I should have done it. Done it there. Oh, you're naughty. Right, so I shall stick this onto there like so. I have made myself a caramel latte when I was downstairs. Just as a as a pick me up, I've not had one for a couple of uh, weeks. Uh, but yeah, well, mind you, I was going to say I'm flagging a bit energy wise, but I'm doing better than than I thought. To say you know I was I'm only doing one video. Um, I, if I if I hadn't have had to retake this, I wouldn't have done a second video. But yeah, I don't. I feel all right. Really. Oh, I'm just going to pause 
Okay, <laughs> so I need my awl and I'm going to try and get in the middle-ish, like so, and I've got the little brad there. I think it would be nice about there, so pop a hole in and we'll pop that in. I'm not going to put any string in until um, I've finished because it, it just gets in in the way. Just flatten that down. That's lovely. And I'm not going to put any tape on it because um, I flattened it right down and that's going to cover it anyway. So that will give it some added um, thingy. So I'm going to use, I've got another one of these. I must have printed this kit and printed out about three of each each page because uh, I'd, I'd got loads of it um, yeah I'd got about three pages of, of the same same one so I don't know if it was an error or if I was planning on doing something but um, I never did uh, use this paper so which is unfortunate so you know that's why I wanted to go through uh, the papers what I'd got printed out and get them that I'm used on because I obviously printed them out at one time wanting to to use them um you know and if I I don't mind if I only use them them once um but I, I at least want to use them uh once normally each year I kind of you know revisit my favorite um papers i mean there's one from nanine um her um it's got lavenders and lilacs in it i've done that for the last uh two years and i will do it again this year because i absolutely love it and um, i think it's called rusted rustic lilac um and it, it's beautiful i think i'm just gonna take I'm going to have to take a little bit more off for now. I don't really want it straight that side. Let's just take some... Oh gosh, I'll take it from this side because it's really not straight. Okay, I shall ink that up. Um, I've ended up buying a reinker for my um, vintage photo. I wasn't going to bother because um, the pad was a bit, you know, I've had it oh, about two and a half years. Um, and I thought, oh, I could possibly do with the new pad. But then I thought, oh, stuff it, I'll buy the reinker. So I've reinked it up. I'm not using that, I'm using gathered twigs. So I've moved on to, to gathered twigs. I like to change my ink seasonally. <laughs> I don't know why. And you want to do is it's I want a different brown for it for a different um, aesthetic. So let's get this on. And I think that's all all I did in part two. Um, so before I film part three, I will. Um, oops. After I've splodged glue all over there, um, I'll have to rectify that um, that envelope mishap. Um, and I'm not printing, you know, another one out of the kit just to um, do that. I'll probably just cover um, another envelope and put it put it there. So part three, I'll be back on to to this one. I will have put the. Um, something there and um yeah and then we'll be able to to carry on as normal <laughs> thank goodness oh i'm so glad that people you know watch and let you know um as soon as um it is i mean obviously if i'm not in there wouldn't have been a lot i could have could have done about it but um yeah, at least then you can you can get it get it done because I think then it confuses people. It's like 
I've, I've noticed today a lot of people have like been watching part one so I'm thinking are they you know thinking oh this must be uh, the latest one because I'm sure you must get used to my um, schedule and, and things um, I'm guessing for, for you American ladies um, and I'm guessing majority of you are ladies I think 1% of my audience is, is males um, but yeah I'm guessing you know you wake up and, and my video um, is there so and it's funny not funny uh, but I don't know why I didn't put that underneath the paper um, I don't know so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover it because um, it's it's a bit cream isn't it um, yes um, Denise didn't video for two days I think and um, I wake up and watch Denise's video because I find Denise very soothing um, in the morning I love um, a gentle a gentle voice and it kind of you know gets me into to wake up <laughs> mode this isn't to make you feel guilty Denise <laughs> but uh, yeah I was a bit like who do I watch? Because I watched Denise and then I watched Tina uh, from Shabby Dabby Doodah. That is like my morning routine. Um, and I have my two cups of tea while I'm watching and um, my tablets and yeah, warm, warm my body through. And um, yeah, if I'm well, I'll get moving um, after, after that. But um, yeah, I have to watch something before tina and that's just because it, it's habit now tina's very upbeat isn't she uh, and it, it's a bit much for me first first thing uh, so i need somebody really very gentle uh in the morning so um yeah i do i do love watching denise in the morning so i think i'm going to i don't know where i ended up i think i ended up finding um something is it AMS art oh, something uh, with just some quiet music on uh, for 10 minutes just to um revive me so but it's funny isn't it i mean obviously i've not always watched uh Denise i used to watch uh Tina first um video um but yeah it's, it's just habit um same as if, you know, I need to have two cups of tea in the morning um, before I start moving. Obviously, I have to move and go down and make the two cups of tea first. But, um, yeah, I kind of shuffle downstairs <laughs> and uh, I make a cup of tea and then I make, um, I've got a flask cup. Um, so, I make a, a flask cup and, um, yeah, put my hot blanket on um, on my chair and um, yeah, warm myself self up. And if I'm feeling a bit energetic, I might move my arms about <laughs> and uh, my neck about and my legs about and uh, just just to get me, um, you know, the blood pumping. Um, so yeah. <laughs> and uh, when she put a video up on the second day, like uh, late late on, because you know she must have then felt felt a bit better. I was like, oh my goodness, thank you know, thank goodness for that. But then I didn't know if I should save that video for the for the following morning. But luckily, she she'd put another one on for the next the next morning. I was like, oh, so yeah, today I started off and um, yeah, I got my Denise video, um, and then I watched Tina. So um, yeah, I felt a little bit bright yesterday. <laughs> oh dear, really guilt guilt complex in your ear Denise but uh yeah I don't know what's going off um <laughs> we might man in her back um yeah like we do we do speak mo most days and yeah it consists of have you moved out your chair yet <laughs> what what are you doing because that's all we seem to seem to be doing at the moment but you know better times ahead and I must say Denise 
the video this morning if nobody's not watched it you want to go and watch it because um she's she did have a little bit of a moan like like we do um and you know most of you want to know uh what's what's going off with us so you don't mind us having having a bit of a moan but um yeah then she said um but we've got lots to look forward to and i thought you know you should be saying things like going on holiday and that kind of stuff Oh, and it was lovely, she said, um, about the birds coming back and the birds singing and the bees and the butterflies coming back and and the flowers blossoming and the lighter nights and oh, it was lovely. So yeah, it um it made me happy. So thank you very much, Denise. You're a beacon of uh, of happiness. Um so that that's it. We're up to date again. So, like I say, I'm really sorry for, for that mishap. That's only ever happened twice in um, two years. Um, have I been doing... Oh, I've been nearly two years old on um, YouTube at the end of March. So, yeah, in two years, it's only happened twice. And I used to check my videos to make sure there was nothing wrong. And because... The, you know, the, the, they're always okay apart from these two times. Um, yeah, I just don't don't bother. So yeah, really sorry about that, and I hope it goes up um, fast. So I shall see you tomorrow, hopefully for just normal normality. <laughs> Bye for now. Oh, I've got my Morris pajamas on again. They have been washed. <laughs> Thank you. See you soon. Bye.